Hey guys, I want to talk about one of the most terrifying movies that I've ever seen and unfortunately had to endure whenever I was younger because my dad loved horror movies and he thought it was a good idea to show us this shit in like middle school and elementary school and the thing that I still remember some scenes of it to this day and you know a horror movie is that fucking good when it gives you like I guess not necessarily chills but I mean you remember it and are just like oh shit so basically I think it's about scientists who are in the middle of the fucking arctic I honestly don't know it's in a place where it's just completely white with snow it just they're the only ones out there and they find this fucking spaceship or whatever with this thing like frozen in the ice and of course they bring the thing into their compound when they're alone and there's no help that's coming because it's like snowing it's like a fucking blizzard that's going on man i mean no one could really do shit to help them they don't even know the danger they were in that's a thing and what really scared me about this movie was the way it was able to take the shape of anyone even a fucking dog i think it took shape of a dog once in this i remember it was just so disturbing i remember this one part where the thing like grew like just like a head and then like these legs like, a, it looked like a human head with legs coming out of it, and that part really scared the absolute heck out of me, guys. Like, holy shit, I still remember that part to this day. That's how fucked up that movie was. I mean, I, like I said, I'm obsessed with horror movies. I mean, maybe it's a little bit unhealthy to constantly watch them, but I am. However, this movie, I mean, there's few movies that have disturbed me as deeply as as the thing and let me tell you guys if you haven't seen it i mean i'm confident that even if you're a brave soul you are going to f like freak the fuck out at this i mean i'm not gonna spoil it for you because again i really want you guys to see this movie and get back to me and you'll probably agree you'll be like wow anna this movie is really terrifying it's really fucked i'm like i know right they did a good job making it huh but there's this one part that was, whoa. sorry guys, I've been just thinking about this movie even now. Like, there's this one part where, of course, they find out that this thing can take the form of any of them. And of course, that's going to bring, like, a lot of, yes, distress. And they don't know, like, you know, if the thing is in a room. So they decide, I don't know how to come to this conclusion, but they decide to do blood tests on everyone and they find out i think they find out that if you put a certain chemical to a blood sample or actually i think they like just maybe do, like a blowtorch or something because like they figured it could attach to people and just do fucked up stuff so they put it in a petri dish like people's blood sample and they test it to see if the blood's gonna freak out because even the blood you know that come from them is basically alive will just will just like lash out and then there's this one part where they got someone's sample i can't believe if i can't sorry i can't remember if the sample is from one of the guys or girls i was mostly men which is totally fine anyways I think it was one of the guys, and the blood just freaked out, like it started fucking moving, and then I think at the same time, like, one of the guys started flipping the shit out, and it, I mean, it was so gory, it just, the special effects on that thing, that on um, that movie, guys, it was amazing, it was like alien, just, I know I'm geeking out a little bit, but it's just, like, it looks so real. It wasn't necessarily... Or it's like it wasn't CGI. It was just special effects. That's what makes it so cool. It wasn't just computer anime. I mean, they fucking worked hard to make it look realistic. Maybe it was a little CGI. I don't 
like, I don't really know, like, when that came about. This was made in the 1980s. So, I mean, I think there's some sort of it. Anyways, it was so well done. I mean, there's movies, there's a lot of movies where people are, like, isolated. And they can't get out. Like, stuff like that. People may go a little crazy. But this one took a really interesting take on the alien fan. I mean, there's been, like, alien possessions in some movies, but this one, I really think it was super unique in a sense. And it was just, the storytelling was just fantastic. Like, the characters, sure, like, may not all of them seem, like, well-rounded, but, I mean, you felt for their situation. It felt realistic. It really felt like they weren't trying to just hurry up and cobble things together. No, they, uh, like, just, they really, they really just outdid themselves. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's, I mean, the special effects, I am still amazed to this day on how they just made it so realistic. I mean, not as a special effects, I mean, it is just phenomenal, like, what they can do to make the person or to make the thing just come alive. And I'm just really, I mean, you know, a horror movie is good when you still remember certain parts to it. I mean, that's what makes a good horror movie. If you still remember it years from now, if you still remember certain parts, of it, if you still remember you feeling disturbed by it and you're not able to sleep at night, then you've really got a good horror movie. Because lately, I mean, the horror movies I've watched, they haven't disturbed me that much. I've been able to sleep fine after watching horror movies in 2000. I mean, there's, few, there's a few movies, I admit, that have really freaked me out and made it hard for me to sleep. But just certain movies, like in the 80s especially, I mean, maybe it's because I was younger and, like, was more easily scared. My parents fucked with me all the time, including my siblings, because I was always... It showed that I was a scary cat, so I mean, anywho, it was just, wow, guys, I just, I just don't know what else to say. It was, it was good. It really scared me. It was really gory and just everything about it. It just felt so unique. And I haven't seen a horror movie, like, you know, in a sci-fi genre that's done something like the thing that movie has done. And I just really, just wow, guys. But I'm never going to watch it again because I remember how, I mean, there's certain movies I won't rewatch and the thing's play one of them because I probably won't be able to sleep at night, y'all. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit it. I'm kind of like, yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I don't want to see the actress, is I might watch it just for you guys, but only if I get to, like, maybe 30 views or 8 subscribers, and I'll watch the exorcist, because I have had people who, I've known people who have watched it, and it disturbed them, like, immensely. I can, they've watched horror movies before, like, my rel like my relatives, and then relatives who don't really scare easily, and then they watched The Exorcist, and they just, well, I mean, they warned me not to watch it, but if I can get to eight subscribers, and hopefully 80 views, which I hope you guys see the ending um, of this video right now, if I get to that, I'm going to watch The Exorcist, Yes, I'm going to put myself on the line and risk getting PTSD. I'm going to risk that for you guys, but you gotta meet me in the middle. So if I get to at least eight, I mean, I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna shoot to. I'm asking for it. Just if you, if anyone who's not subscribed to me, like yet, I mean, if you guys wanna see me react. To the exorcist. And it'll be pretty entertaining. Because I'll probably just flip the shit out. As I'm talking about it. So again. If you guys want to see me flip the fuck out. And be entertained. 
then I need to get to at least eight subscribers. And if I can get eight subscribers, I mean, which two more subscribers, guys, then I will watch that movie. I have to get that number by Sunday, though, because I got school and shit. So, all right, we have ourselves a deal. And even if I don't get to eight subscribers, I'll probably be relieved. But at the same time, I really, I really hope that it's going to happen and I'll have to watch The Exorcist. Hopefully. I'm putting myself on the line, man. So don't let me down. And I'll see you guys on Monday, hopefully with a review of The Exorcist, because that will be one of the most interesting videos I've ever made. All right. I'll see you then. I hope you have a good weekend and stay warm, guys. Bye.